Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another unboxing. Today I've got the Zag Heroes Miraculous Queen Bee. And this is a Playmates doll from the, Mirac from the Miraculous Ladybug show, which is a French animation that has gained a lot of popularity on Netflix. It has a really good dub, surprisingly. Um, and it is, I, this is their second doll line, but I think the first that was kind of readily available in the US, because this is not uh, released by Mattel and it's not released by Hasbro, which kind of have the toy markets dominated in the US. Um, so we are going to take a look at her. So that is her first face compared to her character design which again looks really close she's got on like a one-piece bodysuit with some shoes she's got her little spinning top she's got her miraculous in there and then a little like bee thing and she does have rooted hair which is nice and then on the back we'll see of course, our um, other characters, Cat Noir, Rena Rouge, Ladybug, Queen Bee, and Marinette. And so we are going to get her open and give her a nice little review because she is the second of these dolls that I'm unboxing. So Let's get her open. Now, I did find when I was opening uh, Cat Noir that it's gonna be easier to just cut the sides off of these because they are, uh, they have a bunch of tabs under them, which is not the easiest of dolls to unbox when they make them that way. Always try to do this safely when you're opening boxes because I have cut my fingers more than once <laughs> trying to open things easier instead of the way that they were designed to be opened. But again, see, that was much easier than trying to get all the tabs out of the box. And so here she is without any of the uh, front facing plastic getting in the way. Give you a really good look at her with her bodysuit, her miraculous. She does have these cute little shoes on. They're like mini boots almost, or not mini boots. They're like they look like if mini boots had their uh, top halves cut off. So let's get her out so we can do a more thorough review. And as always, uh, if you're using nippers, Try to avoid the fabric at all cost. Um, there is something holding her ponytails in. Let me get those. Okay. And these come out surprisingly easy. Um, like, she came out just like that. Uh, so. I do have to take a little bit more effort to get these little accessories out. So here is another little thing that goes on to her hand. And get her Miraculous out. Here's her little Bee Miraculous. And again, I'm going to cut 
kind of pop her Miraculous over here with Cat Noir's Miraculous. These are little like chibi fairy creatures that give them their powers. And here is the little bee thing. It does have a little like hand clasp. And then here she is. Check out that leg articulation. That's nice. Right there at the hips. And again, really nice articulation at the knees. No articulation at the ankles. Um, no articulation at the torso. She does have full articulation here at the uh, shoulders and at the elbows, pretty tight. As you can see, she can almost touch her face completely without any effort. Um, and then again over here, here's her little spinning bee top, which is very cute, uh, and her ponytail. Now the mask is painted on which is kind of disappointing. I would rather see mask as accessories, but she's very cute. Uh, it's got a little ponytail holder back here to go into the style. Uh, a little bit of uh, hairspray in there or doll glue. I'm not quite sure which one it is. Uh, these are more in size wise to petite Barbies, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's, here's the new Barbie looks petite and they are of a very similar size. So kind of a cool option if you wanna rebody other dolls, but the, they are very cute. This is of course one piece. Uh, it does look like she has some plastic, like a little plastic coating here on her wrist, but I'm not gonna worry about that right this minute because it doesn't affect anything with her long sleeves. Uh, she does do almost a full split. Kind of surprising. It's really nice when they do really flexible hip joints, but you do have the trade-off that the dolls don't normally stand as easily. And you do have to really like adjust them before you get them standing the way you want them. But she does stand. She is resting a little bit against the ceiling is the way I said it. And this is of course the um, marionette's balcony and bedroom playset. And she does retail for $19.99 at uh, Target and Walmart in the US, and I believe Amazon also. Uh, I got these from Target Online because they were stocked, but I actually saw them at my local Walmart and they have a big display for Christmas time. So if your kids are fans of Miraculous Ladybug, these are relatively inexpensive dolls for how well articulated and put together they are. Um, on par, I think, with, um, with Barbie Signature as far as quality because this is well stitched and it's not a cheap fabric, it is a stretch fabric, which makes sense in the outfits. Uh, the dolls are well put together. Uh, they're not, they don't have a fully articulated neck, but it's just a swivel neck, but it does swivel on more of a natural angle because of how the neck is attached there. So a very cute doll and very worth it if your kids like the uh, Miraculous Ladybug, or even if just you enjoy it. Uh, these are pretty, pretty nice collector dolls because I like anything that's true to the characters. 
which is where Disney loses my money some of the times because they don't, with their signature lines, they don't honestly stay true to the characters a lot. But this for a Playline doll looks great. Again, I wanna show you guys there's no ankle articulation, but they do have almost flat feet. Um, so she's very cute. This is Queen Bee, but really nice leg articulation. Uh, doesn't go back as far as it goes forward, but that's to be expected. Uh, but yeah, these are a great articulated body. Um, because they have, most importantly, the uh, elbow articulation and the good knee articulation. Uh, the only problem is they don't have wrist articulation, it just spins. There's no up and down with these. So you are entirely dependent on what your, uh, what your doll is holding in that specific point because there's no um, lateral shoulder articulation. It just goes this way. It doesn't spin that way because that's just the, uh, the sleeve moving. But again, for $20 and for a licensed product, this is a very good doll. I'm very surprised at the quality of these. Uh, and I have three more to review, so Stay tuned, because I'm going to try to upload these all at the same time, and we shall see. All right. As always, guys, this has been Disney D Prince. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.